is my last message addressed to the people of South Africa. To my dear wife and family, I will say goodbye in a different way. Listen to Radio Ojo and online television. Here is the updates of the news. First, the headlines. Earth South Africa President F.W. de Klerk dies. EFCC detains former governor of Edo State over alleged 1.6 billion naira fraud. And now the duties read by Esther on Mobudi. F.W. de Klerk, South Africa last white president, died on Thursday at age 85. This was announced by his foundation. The Clark and South Africa first black president, Nancy Mandela, shared a Nobel Peace Prize in 1993 for leading the miracle transition from white rule in the country. He died after a battle with cancer. He had earlier announced his diagnosis of cancer in his 85th birthday in March this year. He is survived by his wife, Elita, children, Jane and Susan, and grandchildren. He is most remembered for his famous speech, delivered on February 2, 1990, announcing the lifting of ban on the African National Congress, ANC, and other liberation movements. In the same speech, he ordered the release of Nelson Mandela from prison, an appetite icon, after 27 years in jail. He was born in Johannesburg into a family of Africana. His father was a leading appetite senator who served briefly as interim president. He studied law and became president in 1989 until he handed over the region to Nelson Mandela after the first democratic election in 1994. Away from that, the Economic and Financial Crime Commission, EFCC, has detained former Governor of Edo State, Mr. Lucky Igminedion, over an alleged criminal diversion of public funds to the tune of 1.6 billion naira. Top sources with knowledge of the case but not allowed to speak publicly said the ex-governor was being greed by detective of EFCC headquarters in Jabi, Abuja. The former governor reportedly arrived the commission's headquarters around 2 p.m. and was still under interrogation as at the time of filing this report. Shortly after his exit as governor in 2007, Mr. Lucky Igminedion was prosecuted by the EFCC and convicted of corruption. But the new investigation, according to sources, is based on fresh evidence that the ex-governor diverted a loan obtained by the Edo State government to settle the financial indebtedness of a company in which it was said to have interest. Winston Uwugiaren, the spokesperson for the commission, confirmed the invitation of the former governor but declined further comments. That's the end of the news update. Thank you so much for giving us your time. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell notification icon. Follow us on Facebook, on Instagram. And we promise to eat you with the latest of news, gist and entertainment. Remember, it's Radio Ojo and Online TV. Stay safe.